What's up, guys? This is Titan Lifestyle. It's Friday. That's right, 2 p.m. every Friday. I do Titan Lifestyle. I talk about Titan events. I talk about question and answer is my favorite part of the show, and I also go over a couple topics that I normally pick out, uh, and also the main thing, therapy of the week. Every week, we highlight one of the Titan therapies, so I'm going to jump into that. But first, let's give some shout-outs. I see Tom Dollar hat on here. I see Curtis on here. What's good, Curtis? Going to give a minute for everybody to get on. Uh, but again, I do this every week. So people were asking the other day, um, what days do you do the Titan Lifestyle? I said Friday, every Friday. So if you ask me what days you do it, that means you haven't watched it yet. So you need to tune in every Friday, 2 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Um, again, this is Titan Medical Center. We do HRT. We do medical weight loss. We do ejectable aminos. We have stuff for your hair, your skin, your nails. We service all 50 states. Uh, except for Idaho, but we do service nationwide. So let's jump into the therapy of the week real quick. Um, new therapy, it's called Aphrodite's Serum. Aphrodite's Serum is good for your hair. Again, like I just said, it's good for your hair, your skin, your nails. Um, ladies, if you're looking to give your skin that radiant pop, um, it's going to do that. Um, it's kind of similar to, um, I know when women, this girl I used to date a while back, she wore like this, I don't know if it's called, I think it's called foundation. I know a lady's going to be clowning me for not knowing the names, but she used to wear like this foundation stuff like every day pretty much. It just gave her skin this pop. Um, this is going to give you that pop. It's going to give your skin that pop, that radiant feeling, make you feel a little bit, uh, make your skin a little bit younger. So if you're looking to enhance your skin, if you're looking to enhance your health, jump on the Aphrodite Serum. Again, we service nationwide, so just call 727 727- 389-3220, um, and just let our medical providers know what you need, and also let them know that I sent you, say Big Drew sent me, so I need my Big Drew discount. So anybody who calls and says they want a Big Drew discount, that's what they're going to they're gonna get, whether it's Hercules Potion, uh, whether it's Therapy of the Week. Um, but with the Therapy of the Week, you're not going to get my discount on an already discounted item. So in other words, if we have something that we're selling for, say, 25 bucks off, you're not going to then say, hey, can I get the Drew discount and get an additional $25 um, off or whatever. You're not going to get an additional discount. So it's a one-time discount. But regardless whether you use me or not, Aphrodite Serum is the therapy of the week. So call. Uh, you could defy age and enhance your skin health. So, yeah, definitely definitely um, big. I know people down here in Florida, the sun's beating on us all the time. Um, so it'll probably help with your skin health in terms of that. Um, I'm not sure how it, ter- how it helps, um, yet in terms of like with sunburns and things like that recovery, I'll look a little bit deeper into it that and touch base on that maybe next week. But, um, yeah, Aphrodite's serum, jump on this. Uh, let's see who we have, who else we have on. We got Spencer, we got Douglas, we got triple vet. We got Marco, we got Yachty, we got Angel. We got your din. What is that? Yeah, your, your, I can't. I'm bad with the names. Your dingy, the dingeries. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry with the names, guys. But yeah, I'm actually gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna jump into Titan events right now. Normally, I do that at the end of the show. Uh, but if I got Brian Pope Titan events, the reason why I'm doing this now is because once I get into my Q and A and my topics, sometimes it kind of runs over and we don't get to the events. So I want to jump on those real quick, and then I'll refresh them again at the end of the show. Um, but yeah, for Titan events coming up, I know we have Cars and Couture coming up. Brian can pull it up real quick. Um, I believe it's Feb. It was November sixteenth, but it got pushed back to February. So Cars and Couture um, is pushed back. Yeah, February eighth. It's going to be six p.m. to nine. Uh, six p.m. to ten p.m. right here in Tampa, Florida. And we also has the Cars and Coffee. Cars and Coffee is November tenth, from nine a.m. Uh, to twelve p.m. So that's actually going to be this weekend, a Sunday, Sunday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So get there in the morning, cars, and that's going to be at the Enclave, uh, which is right here in Tampa, too. I believe it's off Falkenberg Road in Tampa. So if you guys are familiar with Falkenberg, that's where it's at. But, yeah, so two big car shows coming up, one in November, one in February. I'll keep you guys and girls posted uh, as to what any other events that we have coming up or special events. Also, we do a lot. A lot of our girls do gym pop-ups, too, where they'll be in the gym, and they'll even give out T-shirts and have a booth in the gym. So similar setup to what we have at our our big shows, bodybuilding shows, car shows, um, with the table and the iPad and the girls. So if you guys need to know where the girls are going to be at, you can always call the office. You always check in. 
Uh, with Destiny, if you guys don't follow her, she's real good. She knows exactly where these girls are going to be at. So, yeah. Show up at one of the gym locations. I know the other day someone saw me at one. They saw a picture, and they were like, oh, what show was this? It was just at a regular gym. So we pop up at regular gyms, too. We pop up at other stuff, too. We're all over the place. We're not just fitness. So Titan Medical is not just fitness-related. People are like, oh, it's bodybuilding. It's Titan. We're all about health, health first. So then fitness comes next. I mean, obviously, if you keep your body in check and we have stuff, your hair, skin, nails, and muscles, it's going to make you look good. But main concern here at Titan Medical is keeping people healthy, um, optimal health. Um, Bernie is asking the first question of the day. So shout out to Bernie. First question. I always give shout-outs to the first question. He asked, what is my sleeping heart rate? To be honest, I do not know. Um, I haven't monitored my sleeping heart rate. That's a good question. It's something I should probably do. Um, and actually, Bernie, that's good you brought that up because a lot of times when people, um, they wait to have a problem and then they try to fix it. So in other words, you wait till your engine light comes on before you put oil in the car rather than just maintaining it. So he kind of, Bernie kind of let me know that, you know, by asking that question, lets me know that I don't know. So I shouldn't wait until I have a problem and then check my sleep and heart rate. So that's actually something I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into, something I'm going to do, um, to see where it fluctuates. Because, again, that's a very important question. But it's always good to know where your heart rate's at, whether you're sleeping or whether you're just regular during the day. Um, last thing on that is when you're getting your blood pressure checked, I spoke about this a couple weeks back, never have stimulants in your system. Um, try, to, try to not have any that day um, or even two days before. Uh, because that's going to boost your heart rate tremendously. Um, and it's going to maybe the medical provider or doctor will maybe misdiagnose you based off of your high heart rate, not knowing that you have stims in your system. So it's one thing you got to watch out for with that. Let's see who else we got on here. We got Money. We got Carmen. We got uh, Hadi, Monty, Andreas, Nat. Shout out to Nat. Um... Maco, we got a lot of people jumping on here right now. A lot, a lot of people jumping on. All these shout outs. I'm just giving you guys some quick ways from my personal phone. Uh, but yeah, get the questions ready. Shout out to Pravon on here as well. Tommy Gaines. Haven't seen Tommy Gaines in a while. It's good to see him back. Um, where's YG Lee at? Where's my boy YG Lee? I know we used to have um YG Lee was a younger guy that used to be, he was too young to take Titan stuff. He used to tune in every week. Watched my show every week for like, seems like a year or two he was watching it every week. Um, and then he actually became old enough so he could jump on the Titan Therapies and now he's doing it. But I haven't seen him on here in a couple weeks. So YG Lee, if you're out there, let me know how you're doing. Um, let me know how the therapies are going. I know last time we spoke, everything was just kicking in. So you should be you should be good by now. Big Mike, what's good? Money, Money Carl says, what's up, big homie, what's good? Um... Preton777 just joined as well. Um, any questions? Usually we have flooded with questions. Only got one question so far. T Hex says TRT with a question mark. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if he's asking if I'm on TRT. I'm not sure if he's asking what is TRT. But I'll just let you guys know what the acronym, uh, acronym stands for. TRT is testosterone replacement therapy. Um, basically, it's one of the main things we do at Titan Medical. Basically, if your testosterone is low... At that point, we just optimize it to give you testosterone to bring it to an optimal level. Not Ronnie Coleman, not bodybuilder, not Mr. or Mrs. Olympia, just to keep you functioning properly. So if you ever see HRT or you see TRT, you don't know the difference. Pretty much they're the same thing. Testosterone is a hormone. So sometimes they'll say hormone replacement. Sometimes it'll be testosterone replacement. But basically, um, basically they both do the same things. Just replacing your testosterone if you're in a deficit. Gino says, wool cap indoors. The hormones don't keep you warm. Actually, this isn't a wool cap. It's thin. It's actually just as thin as my just as, just as thin as my uh, my shirt. I got a bunch of these. Someone gave me a bunch of these a while back, but just as thin as my shirt. So I would definitely not. I wouldn't wear a winter hat inside. I'd be sweating like crazy. So this is just basically just like as thin as a as thin as a dry fit shirt. It's a skull cap, real thin. It's actually cool too. So it's wicker. What's up, Kong? I see Kong just joined don't join on here. My boy Kong. The bench king is in the building. Looking forward to do some content with him. I'm going to introduce you guys to him when he comes in town because that is a monster right there. That's the bench king. I thought I, I used to be the bench king, the rep king. I used to be. 
but his numbers is like 20, 20, 20 reps more than me on the bench. So <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Uh, the Vivid Moxie, shots to dry out and become lean. Um, I think he's just asking for different therapies you could take out, uh, take to become lean. If that's, it's kind of a bodybuilder term. If you hear people say dry out, basically it just means they're, they want to get their mus uh, less subcutaneous water underneath the skin so the muscle pops out more. So sometimes people say you look dry, you look lean, you look hard. It's pretty much similar. Um, just basically means you're getting more ripped. Um, but they're asking what they could take to become more lean. Stuff we have here at Titan Medical. Now, the first thing people are going to say is semi-glutide because it's the biggest thing out right now, semi-glutide, semi-glutide. I would not recommend semi-glutide if you're a bodybuilder um, that you're trying to dry out just because... Semi-glutide is, is more intended for people that have a high body fat. So if you have a low body fat and you take semi-glutide, you, um, you might start losing total body uh, mass. In other words, it'll be pulling from the muscle as well. So I wouldn't say, I'm saying what not to take first um, if you want to dry out. Um, to get dry, obviously diet is the main thing. Lower your carbs, lower your sodium. But things that we have here at Titan, I would say AOD 9604. Um, AOD 9604 is in a fat burner. It's actually a clinically proven fat burner. So anytime you lose fat, you're going to appear drier. Um, the whole thing is the appearance to appear dry. So you want to appear dry, which means your skin looks thin, your muscles, everything's popping. Um, that means you're, you're appearing dry. You don't necessarily have to be dehydrated. I see a lot of times people, they want to, they want to dry out. What happens is they actually dehydrate the muscle or dehydrate themselves. So you want the muscle to be um, hydrated. You want to have, the water is made mostly of, the muscle is made mostly of water. So you want to have water within that muscle. Um, but yeah, AOD 9604. Um, IGF LR3, IGF1 LR3 also works great in terms of drying you out. I noticed when I take it, I, was, I, I pretty much, I stay dry. I stay fairly lean year round. But with that, it was like super lean. I was, my skin was getting grainy. Um, stuff like that too. Now Hercules potion will temporarily give you a pump and make you more vascular. So if you're looking for an immediate, something immediately that's going to make you appear more dry, Hercules potion. So overall, I would say diet AOD 9604, IGF LR3, and then you could also throw some Hercules potion in there and ECAA. Um, Vladi Lift says gyno in bodybuilding. Um, yeah, gyno, gyno. Gynecomastia is basically when people's estrogen get too high. So if someone's taking um, testosterone, say say if someone's taking testosterone, um, when they take testosterone, if they have a high, sometimes bodybuilders take too much. If the, LR, if the, est, if the testosterone gets out of whack and it's too high, you, one of the side effects is elevated estrogen. Now, when your ele, estrogen is elevated, that's what's going to cause gyno, which is the development of breast tissue. So you actually start to grow breast tissue under the nipple, and it starts to grow. Now, it's not going to grow overnight. It's not like a pimple where it's just going to burst out. It's going to be a slow, steady grow. So gyno is when you guys see when you guys see bodybuilders where their, their nipples or chest is kind of flabby. That means they have not controlled their estrogen, and it's, it's called gyno. Um, there's other terms, too, that I'm not going to say on the show because they're kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, that's what happens. So if you see guys with flabby chest, not so much the chest, more so like the nipple, and it just looks off or it's hanging, or you'll see guys in a front double bicep pose and it's like a lump underneath there, that's too much estrogen. That's what gyno is. And the bad thing about gyno is it cannot, it's not going to go away. There's nothing you could take that's going to reduce the size or make it go away. It's growth of breast tissue, so you actually have to get it surgically removed. So. Definitely want to keep estrogen in check. One thing we do out here at Titan Medical Center is we always make sure your estrogen is on point. That's why I always stress blood work. Blood work is going to show your estrogen. It's going to show if things are high. Um, that way you can take care of it before it happens. But guys out there, if, you're, if, you're, if your chest is a little bit sore, your nipples tender, you don't know why, get your blood work done. Call 727-389-3220. Um, we'll let you know if, if it's something estrogen-related so we can... Take something like a nastrozole or tamoxifen, something that will control your estrogen or eliminate more estrogen from coming in your body. Uh, anybody else with the questions? That was a good one. Good question about estrogen. A lot of times people, they think estrogen is just, oh, female estrogen, estrogen. So yeah, 
That's a good question right there. Shout out to Triple Vet. Shout out to Dyer. Shout out to Coach D. Coach D's on here as well. Um, I'm going to jump into this topic real quick. It's kind of a crazy topic. Um, you guys have seen me almost every week. I'm talking about some type of tech thing or new technology or something crazy. Half the time, that's what I'm talking about, whether it's fitness related or just in general. This one, this week is, I'm sure some people have heard of it and it's getting more detail. Chinese doctor performs surgery remotely using a robot. Um, so basically, the doctor used some type of machine, or maybe he did it from a computer, I'm not sure, but he was controlling the robot. Um, and the thing is, he was like like 3,000 miles away or 5,000 kilometers away or something like that. So it wasn't like he was in the next room or down the hallway. or He literally was f thousands of miles away and still performed the operation, um, the surgery. Now, the surgery was, was, a, it was a success, too. So it wasn't like, you know... Anything, anything like this is medical practice. So I mean, you got to be wary. You know, medical practice is always like it's practice. So if they mess up, they're just like, oh, it's practice. But um, it's kind of crazy that people are doing surgeries two, three thousand miles away. Um, would you trust it? Now, would you trust? Someone said, say the number again. The number is seven two seven three eight nine three two two zero. Nationwide service, but um lost my train of thought there but yeah in terms of having a robot would you guys or girls would you trust someone to a robot to perform surgery on you but someone that's whether they're a mile away whether they're 10 feet away whether they're on the other side of the world like would you trust someone to do that i don't know if i would um and not only that who's to say that the doctor is actually controlling the robot so I mean, what did the, the, the doctor take a break for a second? The nurse, hey, take over real quick while I use the bathroom. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. But, I mean, I, I think, like, I always think of a way that they could cheat the system or a way that somehow it's not going to work. So I don't know if I would do it. I don't know if I would trust it because pretty soon it's going to be there's going to be no doctors at the hospitals. It's just going to be a whole bunch of machines, and the doctors are going to be literally sitting at their house on their laptop or whatever type of device they use to control the robot, just sitting at home and working and doing everything from home. So it's going to be a, whole, a, a hospital full of, full of robots. Um, so the main thing with this is I'm seeing is robots are taking over more and more. Um, Tesla's got all kinds of good stuff coming out, robots and stuff like that. So whether it's in law enforcement, they're using robots to, you know, extract people out of their houses. So, they, you know, if you have a bulletproof robot that can go into a house and, fix a hostage situation or take a kid out of a burning fire or something like that that's that's pretty good i mean the robot's not going to get damaged you can always just make a new one or have a robot making another robot so yeah it's kind of crazy um more stuff well how do you guys feel about it with the whole tech thing um when you're having doctors everything is you know here we do telemedicine so that would be like one of the first steps but we're not performing um on our patients so in other words here we may have our medical provider FaceTiming a patient, say in Texas or California or, or Oklahoma, they may be FaceTiming a patient, going over everything, but they're not here on a machine operating on them or giving them injections or checking their blood pressure or whatever the case may be, or, or surgery, operations. That that's crazy. So I don't know if I would trust it. I'm not a fan of hospitals as it is. I'd rather just go to a general, uh, you know, a, my personal doctor or Titan Medical. So. It's not good. It's good, but it's not good. So who knows to say if someone else is operating that. That's the main thing I would say. Um, not only that, once this goes into place, once they have these robots in place, now you have to look at stuff on the black market or illegally where people have millions and billions of dollars. Now they could buy the robot. So in other words, a lot of people, old school mobsters and stuff like that, you know, they'd, have the, they'd pay the doctor cash to come to the house to work on the victim. Now these guys can just have their, they could buy their own robot and just be at their house and just have, have at any given time they could have their operation done or whatever because the robot's in their house. So it's getting kind of crazy. Um, just thought it would be something interesting with more tech stuff. Uh, I'll, t I'll touch more on it, but I know they're doing all kinds of stuff. They're doing dentists. They're doing operations. They're doing surgeries, um, consultations. Uh, but, yeah, robots are taking over the world. So kids out there, if you 
If you want to do something, learn how to build a robot. That's the only way you're going to keep your job because nowadays, <laughs> nowadays it's getting kind of crazy, crazy, crazy. Anybody else on? I don't see anybody on right now. Two of our two most same people. Do I take any supplements? Yes, I take Hercules Potion, which is an injectable amino. It gives your body a crazy pump, vascular energy. I use it in the gym. Uh, you spot inject the muscle before you train, but it's also systematic. I use that. Um, I use CJC 1295. I use TB 500, and I use CJ. Uh, excuse me, BPC 157. Those three are all injectable therapies, doctor prescribed. Um, they're non anabolic. Um, they're basically for recovery. So all the years of heavy lifting and slanging and banging and damage I've done on my joints and biceps and tendons and ligaments. That's what fixed uh, is fixing all that currently as we speak. Um, actually, actually, now that I say that, the knee, my knee pain is slowly kind of going away. So that's what I'm taking right now. Basically, just basic stuff, recovery, HRT, and Hercules. Um, now, in terms of stuff that Titan doesn't have, you know, I take creatine and stuff like that. But I'm not the guy that has the whole filing cabinet full of all these pills and powders. I used to. I used to have like a mug full of pills every day and vitamins. And now I just, you know, Titan Complete. Titan Complete's an injectable therapy that we have. It's like kind of like a, it's like a, basically like a one a day vitamin, but it has so much more. And again, it's injectable doctor prescribed. So I take that as well. So basically um, vitamins, aminos, and recovery, HRT right now. Ben says, hey man, love what you do. I wanted to ask what's the best workout split to build muscle? Uh, everybody's different. It depends what you've been doing. I'm not going to get too much into detail about it, but um, gen a general thing is just to give your body two to three days, give that muscle a um, chance to recover before you train again. So if you're going to do like chest maybe twice a week, don't do chest, don't do arms every day. Um, and the only thing I do or you could do every day would be like calves. Um, but yeah, it's, it's different person to person. Some people can get away with once a week. Some people need two or three, but generally... One body part twice a week is all you need. Should I worry about going over macros when in a deficit? Yes, because um, when you hear the word deficit, that means that you, you're trying to get to a certain number. So if you're going over, basically under, deficit is under and, uh, and over is over. So if you're going over your macros on your deficit isn't good. Just um, basically just look at, the macros or the back of the label, the nutrition facts, and figure out the macros that you want to hit and just hit those. Just track them every day. For your first meal, track your macros. You'll never have to worry about them going over or under as long as you track them. What happens is people eat two, three meals a day, then they go back and say, oh, how much was this? How much was that? And then they then they don't have any room left and they pretty much can't eat the rest of the day or you know, they have to force feed because they didn't get enough. So just track them from the beginning, I would say, is the main thing. Someone said, go Lions. We must have some Detroit people in the house. Um, I, uh, backup says he tends to go over on his fats. He gets enough protein and carbs, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, fats. I don't really do too much fat. The only fat I really do is avocado with a little bit of steak and rice. But that's pretty much the only fat I do. And that's just for flavor, just to keep the, you know, just to keep the rice and steak not so dry. So I, instead of using like a barbecue sauce, I'll just do an avocado. But um, yeah, fats are tricky because they don't, they don't absorb, they don't, uh, they don't digest as fast as carbs or protein. So you got to be careful with your fats. Good fats, avocado oil, coconut oil, um, avocado. There's good, 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 good uh, almond, almond butter is a good, good uh, fat. But again, I'm not a fan of fats. It just sits around in my stomach for too long. That's pretty much it for today. I will be back next week. Again, we have two car shows, the Cars and Enclave, and we also have the Cars and Couture. Cars and Enclave is going to be in November. That's this Sunday, so that's coming up. That's going to be from 9 to 12, and Cars and Couture is going to be February 8th, so mark your calendar February 8th for the car show, and the other ones come this weekend. Those are both good family events. You can bring, bring your wife, bring your kids, Come with a couple of your boys. Check out, look, take pictures with the cars. Uh, a lot of times we'll crank up the cars too and let you guys hear them. So whether it's the Titan Hellcat, the Titan Lambo, the Titan McLaren, 
a lot of Titan whips, so we'll have them all out there, or we'll at least have a good chunk out there. I won't crack them up for you guys to let you hear them. But that's it for Titan Lifestyle. Make sure you guys hit the bell on YouTube so you're notified of videos just like this. I've done over 200, so you can listen to this one, watch this one again, or, or you could check out the podcast as well. Uh, just go to any, you could Google search Titan Medical Podcast, or if you have an iPhone, just click the purple podcast icon, and then once you're in there, you can just type in Titan Medical or Big Drew. You can see all my stuff there too. Also, check me out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and that's it for this week. I'll be back next week for Titan Lifestyle. Be safe. I'm out.